happy Saturday, everybody. Hope everybody is doing well and they're safe. Um, I'm doing going to give you two recipes. One, how I do my protein smoothie, and this one right here is a homemade chicken salad. So I use chicken breast for this. Cause, I mean, chicken thighs because that's what I had in my freezer. You don't have to throw the meat out or anything. Just take your meat, open it up, put it in um, a pot, a stock pot, with fill it up with water. Season your water. You want to, um, I put uh, my chicken stock in there, um, my regular seasonings, pink Himalayan sea salt, adobo, all seasoning. Uh, I chopped up some um, onions and put that, I cut up some onions, put that in there, uh, a little bit of uh, fresh garlic, minced garlic, and um, put it in my Dutch oven pot and just let it cook down for some hours. And I did this on Thursday and uh, put it in the, ref the refrigerator until I was ready to make it, which is today, Saturday. And I shredded it up. So this is mine. My kids are separate from mine because I use a different mayo. So in this is seven ounces for myself because I'm gonna eat all of this tonight. And these little lettuce boats with some uh, avocado seasoned up and maybe some tomatoes. But um, I have one egg, a um, small piece of a red pepper. I got um, this mayo right here, which is like keto friendly. And then I found this uh, sweet relish. I should have put like a half a tablespoon because it kind of tastes sweet, but it had pretty clean ingredients, not like the uh, regular that had corn syrup and all of that stuff. So I only used a tablespoon of each one uh, and mixed it all up. I did season it a little bit more with some pink Himalayan sea salt, uh, adobo, pepper, black pepper, and um, all seasoning, mixed it up. And voila, this is your keto-friendly chicken salad. So I'll be back. I'm back, so I put all of my stuff in the blender, and I'm, I have three frozen strawberries and one ounce of a banana. So I'm gonna drop that in, and before I get the blending, I'm also gonna take three of these, because that's what it calls for. Um, I did do a video on this. Uh, I bought this yesterday. Dr. Palmer said that um, this type of powder and Black seeds will help with going to the bathroom. And so I put two tablespoons of the flax seed, one teaspoon of this, because that's what it calls for. Uh, it was pretty good yesterday, you know, it kind of gives it its color. Um, these are the nutrition facts. Let's see if I can get that clear. So it's basically no car net carbs, zero net carbs. Um, I don't see sugar. Nope, no sugar. The flax seeds. These are really cheap. They were on sale. This big old bag was on sale for four dollars and some change. And um, it's ground. Two tablespoons. That's what I used. Pretty clean ingredient. Put one tablespoon of MCT oil. And then I do have a video on this somewhere or another, but this is the protein powder that I use. Um, it's plant-based. Uh, it's really good. The best one I've tasted by far. You really don't need a lot of fruit in this to get this down. It blends very well in a smoothie. And it has fiber in it. Let's hope I don't get constipated on this fiber when I am drinking my water. So this is the back of it. 13 grams of carbs, eight fiber. That brings it down to five carbs. And I think you take off the soluble fiber too. So that's one carb. And then you can also use this to cook with. So you can bake it, blend it, shake, you know, use it as a shake. I made the mistake in using this on my, um, Lamb chops, I forgot it was vanilla. And I was like, my lamb chops taste pretty sweet. Duh. <laughs> so I did buy some plain almond powder. But basically, um, 
this is what's in it and this doesn't bother me the ingredients that's in this so um, Sun Warrior is another good plant based but it's nasty on its own so I was only able to use it in um, in a smoothie and then I'm gonna put my Irish sea moss powder in here I forgot that and this is what it looks like Dr. CB talked about this a lot of people make the um, gel but I'm not making no gel so at my local herb store they had the powder so I just put it in my smoothie it does have a smell you know it's an algae it's iris sea moss but I don't taste it with all of the stuff that I put in my smoothie so um, if you could find somebody to do the gel that would be good uh, they said there's no taste to it and you can cook it in your food and it melts down so um, yeah so this is what it looks like I'm gonna blend this up and then I'm gonna add my ice to it I also just got this in I heard some of the ladies talking about this and um, I ordered it off of Amazon it came today and so you do know I use monk fruit sweetener so I want to see how this tastes monk fruit I could get on the ground this you have to order but I just wanted to see you know if it was better than monk fruit um, it was $18 or $19 for this 16 ounce bag. So it's ba basically no carbs, zero carbs, net carbs rather. They said it's one for one. So we'll see. I do put a little bit of water in my smoothie to keep to get it going. I don't use milk, nut milk, or any of that. It just cuts down on the calories. Here's my ice. I'll be back. So this is my smoothie. It's really good. Nice and slushy. Um, thick, like I like it. Um, I don't have to add a lot of water to it. This is the Boca Sweet Sweetener. This, you see, I like this because look how fine it is. And then this is the monk fruit. And it's, you know, um, Kind of like uh, sugar crystals. So this one is more fine. If you're looking for a more fine for certain recipes, I would probably use this in my um, yogurt um, more than the monk fruit. And also I would use this in my uh, fruit compotes as well over the monk fruit. But when I don't feel like ordering or spending $20 for sugar, I could just go to the store and get the monk fruit sweetener off the shelf i think it's like six bucks so um yeah just wanted to come and show y'all my smoothie all of these ingredients i have talked about before in my videos i have a um an intermittent fasting healthy eating playlist it'll say intermittent fasting slash t25 um and that's where all my recipes you know the stuff that i'm using trying whatever these are the collagen pills they three big horse pills that I'm going to take now and then the other supplements my chlorella manna and my vitamin C I'm going to take that um, when I eat dinner so I'll be back